What's up guys, Tito Steve here and in my hands I have the Auto DIY V5 kit. So what this is, is um, it's a JLF replacement body kit that can fit onto your uh, Hayabusa joystick or JLF joystick. So the most important thing to actually have from this setup is the, the mounting plate and the spring hat and spring and no not the actuator you just need the spring hat the e-clip and the mounting plate so let's check out what's in the bag first so here you got a set of four different actuator sizes uh, I forgot the sizes uh, <laughs> my bad so I think there was 1.2, 1.2.5, oh well, no, 1.2.5, I think it was 12mm.5, 12mm, 12mm.5, and then 13mm, uh, need to double check that. This is the new um, pivot, pivot cavity, I don't know what's the idea, what's the proper way to call this, and this is the pivot itself that's made out of Teflon, so it's going to be a super duper um, smooth actuation and this is an extra gate so you got two gates in here uh, okay so this is the square gate and this is the rounded gate I'm actually going to try it out with this rounded gate because I'm curious how that's going to feel because I actually prefer the LS32 with it's not so square gate and I got this from Arcade Shop, so this is a bit of Shin Etsu grease. So they say it's not required, but you can put some on the pivot for, I don't know, additional uh, lubrication or protection so that you don't wear it out. But it's not supposed to wear out as quick as a JLF's pivot. And we also have an Arcade Shop sticker. It's like just gonna share this video. Okay, what else do I have? Okay, so I also have my link here that I also got from a cage shop. So it comes with the... I didn't actually read the instructions on... Oh! <laughs> okay. So this is a blue link. Uh, there we go. So this is a blue link that I got so that it matches with the whole aesthetic of the stick being blue. Uh, I'm gonna install it on the TE2. So we got some instructions that I'm not gonna read because I've been removing shafts for quite some time already. Oh yeah, so you, you also have these set of golden screws for the auto DIY body so you can actually repurpose this onto another mounting plate or if you have a spare mounting plate lying around, you can do that. So okay, where's my screwdriver? So I'm also going to open up this. Uh, just going to open this up as well. So this is a Hayabusa joystick. Show you guys how to mount the switches onto the auto DIY later. So this is actually a newer this is actually a newer Hayabusa model with Omron switches, yeah, there you go, Omron, it's not the AM5 switches that I love more. Okay, so how are we going to do doing this? So we're going to remove the mounting plate off this JLF. That's pretty tight. Ugh. But... Oh man, this is super fresh. <laughs> I have another JLF here with screws that have already been loosened previously so that's gonna make things so much easier okay loosening this screw so the thing is like some JLFs that come with arcade sticks they have this glue thing that's why this one's rather tough to remove and that's pretty annoying so let's not deal with that anymore <laughs> okay removing the screws 
but I'll be using the spring hat and the clip off of this other one because that's a uh, much fresher JLF. So now that we have the mounting plate, you can put these screws aside because the auto already comes with its own set. Okay, so this is the body. Uh huh. You gotta put the pivot mechanism first. Oop. So yeah, the design of this body, the why, the reason why it's like this, it's interchangeable with the V2, which is the one for the Korean feel with the rubber tension grommet. Huh. Am I doing this correctly? Okay, it clicked into place. You guys heard that. So remove this. Okay. So this is the JLF that we shall be extracting the PCB from. Alright, so this is your typical JLF PCB. that in here now okay it's a rather snug fit I'm just gonna leave this out for a bit okay so this is the pivot Ooh. wait I should get the spring on this first so to remove the spring, if you guys, oh, I'm not using a flat head. Get the flat head. Okay. So to remove the spring and other stuff off your JLF or other joysticks, just get a flat head. There's the E-clip. Get the actuator. Oh, did it need? No, it doesn't need the. It doesn't need this ring. So all I need is the spring and the spring hat. Put this to the side. And where's the grease? I'm gonna put a bit of grease. a fair amount of grease already stuck onto the lid so we'll just get a little bit huh it's got oh my gosh I think that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot you just need a little little amount for that so I'll just put it here in the cavity okay that is good here is my link shaft here is the pivot Thread it through that like this, and then put it there. I don't put this. I should put the spring first to make things so much easier. Hmm. Let me double check the. I'm going to double check the auto DIY thing if it does need the metal ring. Just to be sure. Okay, so based on the web, these are the only parts required. So these are the parts required from the JLF Oops. for size automatically. So you need the spring hat, e clip. Spring hat, e clip, JLF plate, and the shaft. So we do not need, we don't need the ring thing. Okay, so that's good. So we got, got the shaft, we got the spring hat. 
We got a spring, and we're gonna put the equip. What the fuck? Oh, here it is. And I'm going to be using the large actuator. Hello, good morning, Kay. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so yeah. Here we got different actuators, and on each actuator, it actually indicates the size. Just gonna show you guys the difference. Okay, so each one, oh man, you cannot see that. Oh, there we go. So each one has a dot and the dot. So this one's just two. So this is like the standard one. This one is, uh, can you see that? This one's like 2.5 dots. And then this one is the largest one with three full size dots. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. Clip. All right, fits in nicely. Okay, put this spare actuator to the side. Oh wait, we still. <laughs> I forgot to put the nuts. Okay, so we have to mount this onto the mounting plate now. Put these ziplock bags to the side. Okay, so these are the golden nuts. Golden nuts and bolts. You put a nut in each of these holes. Oh no. Ugh. The challenge. You gotta align them properly, else this is gonna happen. Alright, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, nine plate. Wait, what? Oh, wait a minute. Did I do it wrong? Oh my gosh, I did it wrong. <laughs> I put it on the wrong side. This is supposed to go under. So this is a different mounting thing. I'm not sure what specifically what mounting plate would use that. But now I gotta scoop these out. Alright, now we got it properly mounted. Now we can screw this properly. Huh. Is there something wrong with the mount plate? Or it's just it's just a tight fit with this thing. Okay. Ha, huh, interesting. So these nuts are hex screws. They are hex screws. They don't use a standard um Standard Phillips head. You need to find one that's. This one's too small. It's finding the right bit for the job. Alright, okay, found my right screwdriver bit. Now we're gonna fasten this. Alright, now that's pretty secure. And there we go. Oh wait, we still didn't put, still did put the the ball top. Wait, where did my ball top go? All right, <laughs> I'm gonna get my blue ball top from inside this case. That's pretty much it. Hmm. I'm already liking that. But there is that's a pretty short throw and that is more to my liking So 
So to install the ball top on the link, you need to use the Allen wrench that they give you. What is this one? Oh no, it's here from the underside. Right, so they give you this um, Allen wrench. Then you can screw the ball top. Okay, we're just trying that. So you have to remove the shaft, get the Allen wrench, put the ball top there, then use this to tighten. And with that, it's going to be secure. I need a blue ball top for this. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm going to get a spare shaft cover. We got my other shaft covers. I'm just gonna get one from this Hayabusa. So actually, you can also remove the screws here from the Hayabusa, or if you have a Hayabusa, and you want to switch to uh, an auto, you can also remove them and put them in the same body. Alright, now time to mount this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, quick release shot. Awesome. So we're gonna remove this Hayabusa that I installed with the detachable shaft from the Tash. Right, we gotta stand up just to make things easier. And there we go. Whew. Now I got my own link installed onto the stick. Now I'm going to be playing a bit of KOF just to test it out and see if it makes me feel. Hmm, I like this. It's got a really short throw and it's really smooth. <laughs> wow. Wait, forgot to get the cable. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's fire up the game. Let us play a bit of KOF. Wow, I like the short, short throw on this. I'm going to try the square gate later. So far, I like this. The King of Fighters 14. It's making my son was stick feel more like a Seimitsu, and that's what I like. Wow, super short throw. Who should we practice with? Let's pick Rock. Oh, no, not you. Okay. Man, look. At that. I wish I could show you guys, like, how far I have to move it before. So, like, I just have to move it this far, and that's it. Super short throw. Wow. Well, really, follower anniversary for UK. <laughs> That's cool to know. Alright. Let's try this now. I love the short throw. This is so me. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Uh, wrong input for rock. It is punch, okay. Okay, still some adjustment needed. <sighs> My bad, dropping stuff on stream again.
Okay, let's just do basic stuff. Why did I drop that? Huh, some adjustment phase for me. Check the inputs out. It's... It's actuating faster. Okay, so I have to, like, press just the right time because it's doing stuff faster. See? It actuated... Oh wait, or was that a... Was that a misinput on my end? Okay, we got this now. Oh, <laughs> it did a back jump. Oh my gosh. Adjustment. What? <laughs> oh man. Kinda, kinda. Kinda got it. Is it gonna connect? <laughs> okay, so there's some adjustment that needs to be done for me to play on this. Um, was it throw? Um, with regard to the... That's actually the Soul Calibur H rep, man. With regard to the... Hayabusa. With regard to the Hayabusa K, like, the main struggle you might be having is... The difference in the design of the the act the pivot it actuates much faster than a Sanwa JLF. So if you are not used to that, you will be struggling. But you'll be able to adjust to it. I actually prefer it because I just prefer like a quicker engaging stick. Okay, kind of adjusted to this already. Ah, wrong inputs. Oh man. Still need to adjust. Oh man, look at that. Hmm, so there's still a lot for me to play around with this. With this new stick. Or new toy. Oh man, I'm dropping that. I got so used to the JLF for the past um 2-3 weeks that... I was super riding the gate, and it was all the way to the end. Huh. Oh, too quick. Too quick. Okay, I'm gonna try... Let's try Robert. <laughs> oh, you want me to install LEDs on your stick? Sure thing. Pay me to install. Because <laughs> I bought this LED kit. And you need clear buttons. So you need to get those clear buttons first, man. Okay. Oh man. Just need to practice that. And still, I will give excuses that the stick is on my desk. Wrong combo. Won't cancel to that. Ah, did the block one. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I, I want to trade for the matte ones, man. But the but the clear buttons cost like double a plain button. I wasn't able to DP. Okay. Oh, do the DP first. Huh. Need to practice canceling the DP. <laughs> okay, let's try it here. From my lap. From the much more comfortable spot. Dropping the DP. Why is there a brain delay? <laughs> There's a brain delay between me and the Dragon Punch motion. Ugh. I just beat up Leona because I like her music. Crud, I'm dropping the DP. Ugh. Why am I dropping the DP? <sighs> uh, anyways, that's going to be all for today, guys. So, that was just auto DIY kit with the link quick release shaft. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, there's still a lot of tweaking and a lot of experimentation that I'll be doing. So I'm going to be playing around with the different actuators or maybe just change back to the square gate. But yeah, right, really, I just like, you can hear that awesome Ikari Warriors music from Kiva 14. It totally trumps Neo Isaka's theme. Anyways, as I was saying, that's all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if ever you guys would like to try the way I currently set up my um, auto DIY V5, then feel free to message me if ever I go to events or you can just borrow my stick and try it out for yourselves if you decide you want to find other ways to fine-tune your sound with JLF experience. Anyways, it's Tito Steve signing off. Hope you guys have a great day ahead of you. Why did I do that? <laughs>